So hello everyone again. Thank you everyone for coming to the lesson and those who's watching the recording. Today we are experimenting with mosaics. I find mosaics very fun, also uh, relaxing, meditative to do. You have lots of small pieces and you create something yeah, out of it. And today uh, to have it simpler way, we're gonna use paper for mosaics. So we're gonna be cutting paper in small pieces uh, and then we're gonna be gluing it. So you need glue, you need scissors. And we've decided to, to have um, dark uh, background, but you can also have light one. If you have just simple paper, white one, feel free to have it, yeah? So let's first um, try to think of the idea, what we're gonna do. So then it's easier to, to think, okay, what colors I need to cut, uh, all, all the pieces, yeah? So I suggest, so I've mentioned, we're gonna do, so this is our paper, yeah? So this is my paper. And I suggest we do the eyes of oval. So we're gonna have like this dark part inside. So two eyes that are very dark. Maybe it's gonna be also a little white piece inside, yeah? Then we're gonna have a lighter one of yellow. Yeah, so this is gonna be yellow. And then we're gonna have like more circles. So this can be like already whatever you like, maybe pink, and then maybe even more, it's gonna be something, yeah? So this can be pink. This can be blue. Yeah, maybe we're gonna have a nose. And maybe we're gonna have, yeah, so the mosaic pieces doesn't have to be like all equal. Yeah, and here we can do the feather. So let's let's say this is gonna be our sketch. And this can also be different colors, yeah? So this is kind of more or less. Yeah, tell me. Your paper, uh, the size of the paper that we usually paint with, or is it bigger or smaller? Very good questions. Yes, thanks, Ali. I'm taking the same paper. I'm taking A4, so the usual one we are um uh, painting. Yeah. Uh, if you feel to, because you all are artists, and one of your main jobs is to decide. Yeah, so you as an artist, you take the decision. You say, okay, I feel for this artwork, I want a bigger paper. Or um, I want this color or I want another background. So I'm giving you tips, but it's your um, yeah, connection, how you, um, how you decide to do, yeah? So, okay, so I'm gonna put this kid away. Let's leave this our sketch of all here. And now we can prepare our um, our pieces, yeah? So we decided, so what, what color we need? We need some, some black, we need some yellow. So then I have pink and blue and whatever else you decide. Maybe also white in somewhere in between is cool, yeah? Uh, maybe you have other papers, maybe you have orange, you have brown. Yeah, so imagine all is like really fun. And so now all we need to do is create all those small pieces. Yeah. So the only thing, so probably for the for the black and for the yellow, no, actually only for the black, I would say. Yeah, we can use the just the circles. Maybe it's gonna be even easier to start. And then all the rest we do in uh, in mosaic pieces. No? So, and you see, here is another way, because it's another, uh, so you as an artist, it's another thing you should learn how to do, is when you have lack of material, and it happens often, it's normal, you find a way how to, yeah, how to deal with it. That's the paper, color paper I had for today. So I just took my paper and I colored it. I colored it with gouache, 
You can do it with acrylics, and then you can have the paper you, you want. So, okay, let's measure and let's start with our eyes. Yeah, so again, if you're taking bigger paper, you might need bigger circles. Yeah? So, and again, you can have also something round, yeah, to, um, to, to, to go around. Yeah, so maybe you can try if this big or small. Yeah, and you just kind of can, yeah, can draw around. If you're brave enough, you can also um, draw just like this. Yeah. Another very cool way to draw if you don't have like a nothing circle. So what I do, I just measure the distance more or less I want. And then I can like measure, oh, okay, five centimeters. And then I can also take it the same size to the top. So just kind of, you know, mark the the biggest yeah the longest parts and then i just slowly connect i just slowly connect one part with another yeah and now i'm going to show you another trick that works very good when you're doing some cutouts that are uh, that you want them to be the same because if i now draw Another circle, it's always going to be different, yeah, some way. But there is a way how to do it the same. So what I do, I have my circle chosen, and I just yeah fold my paper, so I have a double. And all I need is just to cut the paper when it's two of them. And like this, I'm getting my circle and I'm getting two equal pieces. So it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly, but it's going to be two of them, not perfectly circled, but they're going to be the same. Yeah. So like, are we going to do this? Yeah, so now we're starting with black paper. So it doesn't matter if you have light or dark background. We we just decide uh, the size of the inside parts of the eyes, and we put them. Ooh, here are two eyes. Yeah. Now I think: are they too big? Are they small? Yeah. I think I'll try. I wanted them a bit smaller because I feel my paper is not big enough. So again, I just connect them. I take two pieces. And I just want them a bit smaller. Yeah. And it's also like it's a bit, it's better to make them bigger and then go cutting out. Because making smaller, you can always make it smaller. Well, making bigger again, it will be already the a bit maybe um, more complicated. Yeah. And then again, and then we think, okay, what's the distance between the eyes? Yeah, we remember they're not too close. The eyes are like pretty much wide. Yeah, so we just plan, plan it. Yeah, so I'd say it will be the only piece we do like, um, um, like a circle. The rest we're gonna be doing the, the small squares, the, the mosaics. Hmm? Yeah, and and I also suggest once you decided something, you just glue it, huh? Because then it's easier to work further. Okay, now I maybe was wrong. Maybe also we we can do the nose. So the nose also will be probably just like a triangle, one piece. Um, but maybe we're going to do it just a bit, maybe more in the end. Let's see. Cool. So, here are my eyes. So, cutting the, um, the squares. Yeah. 
-hmm. So also you don't need a big piece of paper. Yeah. And again, you can use the same system we did with eyes that you just overlap. Yeah, two, maybe even more pieces, and you just cut them all, all together. Yeah. And um, and also feel free to make them a bit different. This is why it's actually good you don't cut perfectly. And you have like maybe some, so here I cut like even a little bit to the diagonal. Yeah, so, so then in the end I can have like smaller and bigger pieces. And then I'll be just gluing that. Yeah. yeah. So Yosa, you you're new here. The girls been painting with me. Uh, we sometimes we paint, sometimes we do arts and crafts. But always feel free to ask questions. Always feel free to tell if I'm going too fast. If you need a bit more time, yeah. So just tell me. Can you wait? Can you repeat? And it's something I'm I'm always gonna do. Yeah. So don't don't be shy. Uh, and yeah, and here what I did. So I had lots of lots of stripes. Yeah, and I can start collecting pieces. Yeah. yeah, and I can check. Maybe I want them smaller. Maybe I want them bigger. So I can start. Yeah. And it's also okay if someone some pieces are like overlapping. Yeah. You can. Yeah. So this is this is like the mosaics. Mosaics has like lots of small pieces. Can be ceramics, can be stone, can be glass. It's 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 really cool technique uh to do. Yeah. And So also maybe not all of them I'm gonna need. Yeah. Just kind of choosing how much. Maybe also working with bigger pieces. It's kind of there are you know pros and contras. So if you work with big pieces, it's easier to glue. Yeah, it takes less time. But then you have like yeah, a bit less precision. And then again, if you work with really small pieces, it looks like maybe more cool, more professional, but it takes much, much more work. Yeah. So I say we, we try to find the balance. So our pieces are not too big, but also not too small. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting here all night and gluing them which is also, of course, up to you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be here all night, but you feel free to to do it if you are up to. Yeah? And yeah, so you kind of just first place them around. And if you say, okay, I'm kind of happy how it all looks, you can um, you know, start, start gluing. Huh? As you can see, I also took a brush. So you can also find something that helps you to move them. Because I found that like moving with with um, with fingers was a little bit like not so handy. Yeah. So as usually as artists, you find out the ways it's, it works. Yeah? So this is our job as artists experiment we find out what works for us or not mm -hmm. and we find so I would say this uh, black and yellow is like the basis because the inside of the eyes are usually of course black also we have this people have the, the black inside and then the yellow gives the shiny effect yeah yellow in general 
that's the color that you can always add yeah to have something shiny and then the rest then the rest we can choose yeah of course we can go like uh, you remember the circle uh, color circle um we can have maybe some orange around um yeah maybe pink yeah we can also like put some paper and then see okay which one which one actually fits yeah maybe something more softer and so on but okay i'm gonna start gluing a bit yeah and so how i'm gluing also i kind of put my papers there yeah so i just kind of i gonna fit and then i just take them and glue yeah, one by one so i so what i do i don't take all the pieces away yeah because then i don't remember okay where which piece was all i do is kind of i keep the drawing i made and i just go on gluing and here what like when since we're using the paper here it's good we can easily overlap so it's really good you can um Put one paper on top of the other. Yeah, because when you work with ceramics, with glass, of course it doesn't work. And there the biggest job it takes is actually to, to match. Yeah, match the size, match the shape. And... Um, Yeah, and of course, if you have like time, you're not rushing. I find it very fun to, to sit and to glue all these pieces. And you see, I'm, I'm not trying to be like perfect because actually I think the more different it looks, the better it looks. Huh? So I'm I'm um, overlapping. I'm going also on top of the black. It actually makes the movement, you know. Then the eye somehow. Yeah. If if there is something like a bit different, you can always a bit like unglue or change the part and. Hmm. Yeah, and the way I'm gluing, so I have my glue stick and just putting a little piece on top, picking glue, glue, and go further.
Oh. Um, share with me, girls. How are you doing? Is it going easy? Is it? Um... Oh my God! Wow! I see Julie so quick. I see Pio that has already, <gasps> and everybody has such nice eyes. Wow, girls, you're really quick. Yoza, what about you? Is it going good? Thumbs up. Yeah, good. Nice. Okay, then I see Juliet Ellie, you're ready with your uh you choose. I, I would say now we go to our wish, yeah, or to paper you have. Yeah, so you can have let, let's check again the, the example I had. So it had those um black and yellow, but the rest is really up to you. Yeah, so here the next one is pink. Then there are like really some lots of colorful papers, you know. Then there are some blues. And then all around. So I would say we plan at least th this part that we have all around some like brownish, yellowish. So it's like the feather of all. But uh, the color of his eyes, feel free to choose. What's your favorite color? Um, yeah. So, yes, I'm taking, um, I'm taking pink. And here again, you can also go and choose a bit different size for your uh, mosaic pieces. Yeah? Maybe they're going to be a bit bigger. Uh, and again, maybe different shapes, you see. When I decide, so I, I, I got like some stripes, but then I put them all together and then I decide to cut. Maybe I cut like this, so I don't cut like straight, but I cut so they turn up a bit like, yeah, a bit irregular shape. Yeah, and then maybe like the, the, the next one, I cut this way. So then the shape is again, the different, but the next one I can cut like more straight. So it has like, um, yeah, just more classical. Because this is actually the, the, the thing of mosaic, that all pieces are different. And you go combining uh, which one suits to this or to the other part. Uh, and again, replace them a bit around. Yeah. Yeah. and again don't rush I'm cutting too much let's say cut glue then cut again yeah and it's also it, it makes good because you don't get tired by doing just one thing um And here, here I'm feel free to overlap the yellows and again go a bit like doesn't need to be perfectly even. Yeah, it's actually more fun when it's a bit un, unequal. Wow, I see Pio, so cool. Girls, take check it out. He has this, this blue thing going on top and those ears. Wow, and the, there is nose, black eyes. So cool. Wow. 
Pio is pro in mosaics. Have you been doing this before, Pio? Ah, I see, I see. So we have already experienced mosaic artists between us. Yeah. Maybe also, let's see, now I'm thinking, maybe not making it like all uh, just pink around. Maybe I move pink also to this eye and the rest I do maybe in some orangey or something. And then it feels also a bit different. I just put it idea. Yeah. So what I decided, I decided to make like one side pinkish and the other with the other colors. Maybe it also gives a bit the feeling of um, with the movement or like how the light goes. Yeah, so it's, it shines from one side. It's a bit darker, the other a bit lighter. And here I have a bit like light orange, a bit pinkish parts. And I also suggest later what we do, we add some um, very tiny white pieces to the black part, because then it's gonna give the feeling that uh, the eyes are looking, yeah? And here, because since we're doing with mosaics, it's a good moment to experiment because with those white squares, I can control where my oval is looking. So if I put those white ones in the middle, it feels he's looking straight on me. Huh? If I put those like really up, it feels he's looking up. He's like mm, putting his, his eyes to the top and like maybe trying to remember something. If I put the white squares down, it feel he's looking down, yeah? So again, I'm as an artist, I can control where it looks, 
he, is he looking to his nose? So the eyes are kind of, yeah. Maybe a bit bigger also, the white things. Maybe now I have a bit sm too small. Maybe some a bit bigger ones can, uh, can work. And here I have taken just a bit different color, but I continue my pinky, pinky side. Yeah. I think maybe it might just look a bit more um, interesting. Something like this. No, I sound like it. it. It gives maybe some, and then in this case, maybe I can just plan that my those white circles are looking to the sides, and as if he's looking like to to that side. I like it. Yeah. So actually, mosaic. What I like about it, you can move it a lot before you actually glue it, so it gives you time and decisions. You know to. Uh, I think what's the way you you want it. Yeah, and again, I'm overlapping. Or I can also decide to leave more space between the papers. I would say it's even more important to make it different. Yeah, so maybe like some pieces, so one color is glued very, you know, intense, one really close to the to the other. And other pieces, so another color, maybe the opposite, you glue it very um, loose. So you have more space in between. Because it's also going to give the feeling of difference. And as we know, art should be different. So if you color everything the same color, um, yeah, the same tonality, the same size, uh, the brush strokes, it's going to look, um, yeah, it's going to look a bit boring. Yeah, it's not going to be successful, interesting. So you always have to think, even if I put yellow, I can put it different, a bit darker, a bit lighter. Yeah, if I use green color, with the green color, it's like, whoa, so much color range to use. We can make green closer to the yellow, very bright, very sunshine. We can make green um, towards blue. Really like yeah, the emerald color, like the sea. And then we can have green more dark. We can mix it a bit with black. It's more deep. So all those things, yeah? And you as an artist, that's your job. So like people who, do, who don't do art, they don't know these things. They just look at art and then just say, I like it or I don't like it. But why they like it or why they don't like it? It's actually um, depends on us, artists, and the technique we use and, and all those tricks and all this theory we know and we use. Yeah. And of course, the more art you do, the better you get. So also no worries. It's not perfect from the first time. I'm throwing also lots of 
paper to the garbage, I experiment, I paint, I try, doesn't work. But I learn, I say, okay, what well, didn't work? Let me try again. <gasps> Ooh, it's getting more um, elaborated. Yes, from Pio. Nice one. Cool. So I'll try. So I think I'm going to make one more layer. And actually blue, I liked the idea of blue. It's also going to give a bit of contrast. But now I'm thinking maybe I shall change the shape. Yeah. What if I'm not going to make my pieces kind of squarish, but maybe I'm going to make them long, long and tall. So let's try this. I'm going to make just kind of thinner stripes. But the stripes uh, I'm going to cut, they're going to be longer. So the, the, this will also help me to save the space. Yeah, so as an artist, I think and I plan and I say, OK, I also want to go uh, do the all those feathers, parts around. So what's gonna happen if I'm gonna do just? What let's say like this. And again, I'm using my brush to move them around. Yeah, so not only difference in color, but also difference in in shape. Yeah, and actually, like, also. I'm putting those blue and I feel they're already like getting connected. So I'm gonna also maybe try. Yeah, but of course the eyes are all probably is not connecting. Maybe there is some line of color going in between, but we will see. Again, I don't have to do them all around. Yeah, if I feel I don't have enough space in between, then I just stop. And I'm going to make like just till some part. And again, glue time. Also feel free to go and wash your hands in case they're like really glueish. Yeah, working with clean hands is um is more comfortable. Also the <gasps> wow, okay. I see there is something on the corner of, of your painting. What what is it? Can you just maybe tell a little story about your? Uh... I see a picture. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> Sweet. Very cool.
I did a lot of stuff, like, and it's not an, an uh, it's not an owl, it's a lynx. Uh -huh. This is what it looks like. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> I did a square. Wow, so nice. You see uh, the flower? Oh my God, and then there is a mustache. Yeah, thumbs up. Girls, how you're so quick. Amazing and so creative. Cool. I love both the artworks and the flower, the red inside, green out, the yellow. Nah. You are much more experts in mosaic than I am. Such a cool surprise. Um, one time we went to a place in Philadelphia mm -hmm. where um there's this like it was really big and it was about and it had a bunch of mosaics in it. Mm -hmm. Like it was like one big one. Like like everything was like there was some, there's like bike wheels and a lot of it was like glass and stuff. Mm -hmm. There were also like stairs. It was really big. It was also really cool. Nice. Wow, such an experience. Impressive. Okay, I'm making the nose. And then I'm planning to do the feather, but then I'm not going to make from rectangulars. And I'm also already going to take the shape a bit of feather. And yeah, I think it's also going to interest. And here is my nose. And it already looks more fun. And for example, what I'm also going to use, uh, so I have this paper that I just colored. So I took my paints, I took my gouache, and I just colored, let it dry. And here I have, I have my um, piece. And I'm going to work with this the way that I'm going to combine the color intersections. So I'm going to have my, so the shape of feather, but it's going to take like both sides. And I I'm going to have the smaller, the bigger, and so on. And also here, somewhere yellow. And then I'm going to be gluing them in, in, in different ways. Yeah. So something like this. Again, I can use the same system as uh, earlier. And I can fold my paper and I can ca cut like straight weight in two pieces. Yeah. So just like I fold. And then I have like my job is double double made. Yeah. So maybe here I'm gonna make some bigger ones. Like this. And then I'm gonna cut. Yeah, I'm cutting in a straight away. I have two pieces and I can start putting them around. Yeah, because you as an artist, you should also know all um, tips and tricks, how to make your artist life more easier, uh, uh, both when we work with paints, when you use more water, when you use less. Uh, um, we all remember our dry brush techniques, so all those little things. This is something you work with. And you use it to make your progress you know, more. Um... 
And here you see, I'm also going a bit outside of my paper and I find it like also cool. And then, um, And of course, of course, also mixing colors is good, yeah. And then you can also take, let's say, you can sometimes take newspaper. Newspaper looks always because when it has those words and just cut, and it's a bit like black and white, yeah, and also looks interesting yeah we can also one day we can do a collage of course then it depends that everyone um gets different you know magazines or different images uh but still we can do like a common artwork like common idea but everyone will have of course gluing own images but i really enjoy collage artworks what i like about them it's that you get the idea and it's your idea is developing while while you're doing it you're kind of okay i'm gonna do this but then you see one image oh it reminds me of this i'm gonna add and and so on and so on yeah. Yeah. So um, I saw Yuza showing me, yeah, I hope I pronounced your name right, uh, the flower. What about your um, brother, what about Alexis? How's your design going on? I like it. I like my own. Maybe I'm also going to add a little bit more white uh, parts in the eye. I think it's also going to give a nice movement. First, I'm going to glue my pieces. And then...
<gasps> wow, Juliet, so nice. And Yosa is also showing me at the same time. But so amazing, Juliet. I love the purple color you've chosen, green. And I love how Yosa did the purple around. Mm. I'm in love. Nice. Tell me, Juliet, you were doing also it before? Um, no, I I don't think so. Wow, so it's the first time doing mosaics? And you did it so well? So you're natural, natural in mosaics. Impressive. I'm still, like, trying to fit my, my pieces. Mm -hmm. Alright, last word go some of them. But okay. Cool. And I, like with mosaics, you can do anything. Yeah, you can do um do something real, like animals, some scenery, flowers, fruits. Maybe you can also do abstract art. Yeah, this could be interesting. We can try abstract art in mosaics. And then we're gonna just change the size of the pieces. And we can also change the material. Maybe we take, you know, some like aluminum foil, so then it's shiny. And because in mosaics, very often is used a uh, mirror and it always looks really cool, yeah? When you have the mosaics and then in between there are small pieces of mirror, it gives this, this shiny effect. Um, so if you liked, you tell me we experiment more. Okay. But also we can go back to painting. That's of course also is. Because I feel we haven't been painting lately. <laughs> um, the last lessons we did lots of arts and crafts. And it's also cool. It's good to, it's good to do everything. Um, maybe, uh... <laughs> Next week we can um do um a Christmas card by painting. Very nice. Agree. We shall prepare for Christmas. Shall prepare in advance. So very good. The Christmas card. Next time I will prepare some um some options we can choose. And. And this is Evie. Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh, yo, yo. Well, um, I send you lots of wishes for your birthday for tomorrow. How old are you going to be? Six. Nice. Wow. Six and you're already such an artist. I'm so impressed. So I wish you lots of great artworks uh, for your birthday and all the, the year of six. And then you're going to be seven. Nice, nice. Birthday is always fun. Yeah. Pio, how old are you? Eight. And you're Bye. eight. Thank you so much. I have to go. Sure. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining a lot. See you. Hope to see you next time. We're going to be doing Christmas cards. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Very nice. Everyone did quicker than the teacher. <laughs> That's good. That's um, That shows my students are experienced. So I'm going to just glue till the end my further of oval. I think he already looks so cool that he deserves a name. Um... So thinking. Nice. There's my oval.
<laughs> well, thank you for those who are watching. Hope to see you next time. As I mentioned, we're going to be doing some Christmas cards. Should be fun. Bye-bye, everyone.